For years, the head of a monarchy is respected and admired by the people of the nation. But with the change of time, the power changes hands and it becomes very important for the nation and royal houses to choose the right heir to sit on the throne. Do you know the heirs of some prominent houses of the world? Maybe not. So today we bring you the list of the royals who are in the line of succession to the throne. So let's get on with it. Number 11 is the Prince from Denmark and it is Frederick Andre Henrik Christian. He's the Crown Prince of Denmark and belongs to the Royal House of Glücksburg. This royal house came into power in the 8th century almost 1200 years ago and has ruled Denmark ever since. Prince Frederick was born on the 26th of May 1968 and he was born to Queen Margrethe II and Prince Henrik of Denmark. Since the prince was the eldest son of the queen, he became Crown Prince of Denmark at the age of four when his mother ascended to the throne on January 14, 1972. The Crown Prince of Denmark plays a vital role in both the internal and external politics of the country. The prince has served in the military in the past for almost 30 years, and he also represents Denmark on different international forums like the UN and UNFCO. His love for his nation and the Danish people makes people in his country admire and respect him immensely. Moving on to our next heir, and this is no prince but a princess from the Royal House of Belgium. It is Princess Elizabeth Theresia Maria Helena. She's just 21 years old and already a crown princess of Belgium. This beautiful princess was born on October 25, 2001 to King Philippe of Belgium. Being the firstborn, she was appointed by the king as the crown princess of Belgium and heir apparent to the Belgian throne when she was just a teenager. Princess Elizabeth is not bestowed with any official roles, but she is often seen assisting the king on his foreign tours. As a young royal, the princess has stayed in the public eye since her childhood and this made her popular among the people. The people of Belgium already adore and respect the crown princess for her poised nature and her strikingly beautiful looks, for which she has gained quite a fan following. Next on the list is the Crown Prince of Morocco. This prince is just 19 years of age and already showing signs of becoming a fine king. We're talking about the Crown Prince of Morocco, Moulay Hassan bin Mohammed. The prince belongs to the Alawi dynasty of Morocco. This house has been ruling Morocco since 1631. Prince Moulay was born on May 8, 2003 to King Mohammed VI and Princess Salma Benani. Moulay is the firstborn of the king and heir to the throne of Morocco. Since Morocco is a constitutional monarchy, the king holds most of the control in his hands, which makes the role of the king more important. The young prince assists the king on foreign tours, and it is believed by many that the crown prince is learning to play the tough role of king from the king himself. Apart from assisting, Prince Moulay also performs other official duties, like officially representing his nation in summits, like when he represented Morocco at the One Planet Summit in France which gained him respect and popularity around the world. At number 8 is the Crown Prince of Norway. The Crown Prince of Norway, Hakon Magnus, is a man of many duties. The prince is a philanthropist, a trained naval officer, and a top military official in the Norwegian Armed Forces. This makes the people of Norway admire the prince wholeheartedly. The prince belonged to the Royal House of Glücksburg. He was born on July 20, 1973, to the King of Norway, Harald V and Queen Sonja. The prince has a good influence on international matters and he's regarded as one of the most important people in the nation. In the absence of the king, Prince Hakon takes charge of the official duties. Apart from this, he plays a vital role in the internal politics of the nation. This 49-year-old prince takes a special interest in national cultural matters. He's the patron of many cultural events in Norway and for such reasons the crown prince was even appointed as goodwill ambassador for the United Nations Development Program. At number 7 is the hereditary Grand Duke of Luxembourg. Luxembourg is a small European country and one of the richest countries in the world. It's ruled by the House of Luxembourg-Nassau. The heir apparent to the throne of Luxembourg is Prince Guillaume Jean-Joseph Marie. Prince Guillaume was born on November 11, 1981 to Father Henri, Grand Duke of Luxembourg, and in 2013 the prince was declared as the hereditary Grand Duke by Grand Duke Henri. This 40-year-old prince is a family man and has honor and good education, making him a good candidate to be the next Grand Duke. Prince Guillaume is the second most important person among the royals. The prince is a symbol of unity in the country and represents his nation while he's on foreign tours. The prince has gained popularity online for his good looks and he's even seen as a heartthrob prince of Europe. 
Next, we move on to Bahrain. It's a small nation in Western Asia, and the crown prince of this rich country is Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, who is crown prince of Bahrain. This 53 year old prince belongs to the royal house of Khalifa. The prince was born on October 21, 1969, to Hamad bin Isa, king of Bahrain, and mother Sabika. Bahrain is a constitutional monarchy, which means everything in the country is run by the royal house, and in this situation, the role of the crown prince increases multiple times. Apart from being the heir to the throne, he's also the prime minister of Bahrain and deputy supreme commander of the Bahrain Defense Force. This makes him the second most powerful person in the country after the king. The prince is popular for his generous nature and love of his nation. All this makes him likable and respectable among the people of Bahrain. At number 5 is the Crown Princess of Sweden. Moving on to Sweden, this country has been ruled by the royal house of Bernadotte, and the Crown Princess of this country is Victoria Ingrid Alice Desiree. The princess is the eldest child of King Carl XVI Gustav. She was born on July 14, 1977, and upon reaching the age of 18, she became the Crown Princess of Sweden. This means after the king, she's head of her royal house and nation. Princess Victoria is the heir apparent to the Swedish throne, and if she ascends to the throne, she'll be the fourth queen of the house and first since 1720. The princess is known for her sincere and strong personality, making her the most liked royal in her nation. The 45-year-old princess has some official roles, like Victoria attends the Advisory Council on Foreign Affairs and assists the king on foreign trips. Not only this, she also runs the Crown Princess Victoria's Fund, which helps underprivileged children. At number 4 is the Crown Prince of Oman. Oman, a country in Southwest Asia, is known for its culture and the sheer beauty of its nature. The royal house of Al has been the ruler of this amazing country since 1744. The Crown Prince of Oman is Thayazin bin Haitham, and he's the eldest son of Sultan Oman Haitham bin Tariq, who is the current king of Oman. And it is this king who gave Oman its new crown prince Thayazin bin Haitham. On January 12, 2021, the Sultan of Oman appointed his son as the crown prince, making him the first ever crown prince of the nation. But this prince is no stranger to Omani politics. He has held multiple government roles in the past, and he's the current minister of culture, youth, and sports. All this makes him a perfect candidate for the Omani throne. At number three is the crown prince of Dubai. Dubai, an integral part of the United Arab Emirates, is known for its skyscrapers and beaches. And the Crown Prince of Dubai is Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, or popularly known as Faza. He was born in 1983 to the ruler of Dubai, Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. It was February 1, 2008 when Faza was declared as the new Crown Prince of Dubai. This news made headlines not just in the UAE but around the world. Faza is active in the politics of Dubai and the UAE. Previously, he has filled many governmental roles like Deputy Ruler of Dubai from 2006 to 2008. He also represented his family and Dubai on various occasions. In June 2022, Faza launched Dubai Global to promote commerce in Dubai. So you can say the future looks good for Dubai in the hands of this crown prince. Apart from professional life, the prince is also popular for living an adventurous life that made him a youth icon for people around the world. Number 2. William, United Kingdom This prince tops the list of popularity and is one of the most known faces of Europe. Yes, we're talking about William Arthur Philip Louis or Prince William of the United Kingdom, who holds the title of the Prince of Wales and Duke of Cambridge. The prince was born on June 21, 1982. He's the eldest son of King Charles III of the UK and belongs to the famous British royal family. His family ensured he got the best education while growing up as it's important for the future king. After the death of Queen Elizabeth II on September 8, 2022, Prince William became the heir to the British crown. From his childhood, Prince William has stayed in the public eye and has gained the respect of the people for his gentlemanly behavior and down-to-earth nature. The people of the UK support and want this 40-year-old prince to be the next king of the nation. The role of the prince and his family is symbolic in nature as he represents British culture and British people, both nationally and internationally. Number 1. The Crown Prince of Jordan This crown prince is one of the most famous princes of the Middle East. 
This crown prince is Hussein bin Abdullah, the crown prince of Jordan, and he belongs to the house of Hashemites. Prince Hussein bin was born on June 28, 1994 to the ruler of Jordan, Abdullah II, and Queen Rania. The prince got the best education in the world, which paved the way for becoming a fine prince. Prince Hussein is the eldest son of the king, and hence he was appointed as the crown prince of Jordan on July 2, 1999. The prince plays many official roles in the country. He's currently a captain in the Jordanian Armed Forces. He serves the king in both official and military missions. The prince has even served multiple times as regent during the king's absence. All this is seen as training to become a strong future king of Jordan. Thanks for watching the video. Comment down below the royals who are in the line of succession to the throne. Also, press the subscribe button and the bell icon for regular updates.